Grabbing her, I pull her in for a hug. Aww. Custom art! Hey guys, Kuderi Ghost here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Divided Hearts. This is the second demo. Um, I was given it by Spaghetto, so shout out to him. Uh, this is early access for the demo, so... <laughs> anyway... Uh, this is basically where it left off the first one. So, since she's already trying to hide her emotions, I decide to humor her for a bit in an attempt to lighten the mood. Ah. Uh, Sayori, I th I think I have brain damage. <laughs> Wait, what? Tr Tristan? Also, Tristan is the name of the character in the uh, demo, so that's, that's different. No custom characters in the demo now, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's all getting so dark. I, Tristan, why are you being so dramatic? <laughs> I barely hit you. Come on. I don't know, Sayori. I can't remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. I think I'm suffering from memory loss. <laughs> you probably skipped breakfast because of how late you were today, Mr. Detention. Oh, yeah, that's actually right. <laughs> okay, maybe I am forgetting. At least my attempt to cheer up Sayori has been fruitful in lifting her spirit somewhat. Knowing how much the silly girl values simply walking home together, uh, might as well let her tag along with me while getting some food. Hey Sayori, now that my head trauma has recovered, she playfully nudges me again. Don't make me give you a reason to have head <laughs> head trauma. <laughs> oh, karma. Yeah, I just, you know, I've been through so many mods that I just auto-correct, okay? You mean trauma, right? She pauses and looks back at me uh, with a sly grin. Maybe I should call it head karma, since you deserved it for sneaking up on me, meanie. She then skips out of the club room, giggling to herself. Her cl the classroom. Man, this girl. Somehow, she still takes me by surprise all these years. Um, oh wait. I forgot to ask her if she wanted to come with me. Shoot. Hey, Sayori, wait up. It's cute how they have the little, the, uh, the animations. It's, it's cool. It makes it definitely different. Uh, glancing around in the hallway, I don't see her anywhere. Man, how'd she slip out here, out of here so fast? Suddenly feeling a light tap on my shoulder, I jerk myself around. <gasps> Sayori! <laughs> she didn't actually scare me. Don't worry. I'm not the... No, I'm not a baby. Stop. <laughs> Sayori, what are you trying to do? She then starts coughing a bit due to the other otherworldly sounds she decided to make. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> <clears throat> I was trying to uh, scare you back. Oh man, a coughing fit? I'm petrified with fear. You're no fun. That was scary. <laughs> Sayori, you're about as intimidating as a basket of puppies. You know that, right? Basket of puppies, all right? All right. Oh, I love puppies. She, she's the blue-eyed monster, okay? That's that's Sayori. <laughs> that's not the point. Of course it's not the point, silly. Puppies aren't sharp. Did you just... She skips off laughing to herself once more. It's honestly unbelievable to me. She was crying just a few moments ago. I glanced down towards the bathroom again. Huh. The blood is gone now. The janitor must have cleaned it up. Shrugging, I continue on my way. I'm following Sayori outside of the school grounds like a lost dog at this point, still trying to ask her if she wanted to accompany, accompany me or not. That's nice. Nice background, man. Why am I even pushing so hard to try and ask her anyway? She seems fine now, right? Finally caught up to her again. Goodness, she's gonna get me in shape at this point. Maybe I should get in shape. How am I gonna get? How am I getting so tired <laughs> easily? Uh, those good old gamer c muscles and cardio, man. <laughs> Actually, I just feel tired with everything I do. Tristan, why are you breathing so heavily? Uh, you must be out of shape, silly, or you just can't keep up. What? Uh, I'm not. I'm not out of shape. <laughs> with all the fast food you eat, uh, you'd think you would be fast too. Dang, she literally has me pinned there, especially with what I'm about to ask. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm starved. Want to tag along to me to get something to eat? She looks at me as... <laughs> ah, that, 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 uh, that expression. Uh, she looks at me as if I had to ask her to even know the answer, and she starts walking towards the drive-thru with me. You're damn right. Sayor Sayori's like food? <laughs> the tension of me running into her earlier still lingered a bit, so most of our walk was pretty silent. Man, I wish she'd tell me what was wrong, but then again, I can't exactly hold that against her since that'd make me a hypocrite. <sighs> Noticing I just sighed out loud, I see her looking up at towards me. Tristan, I know you're worried, but I can handle it on my own. I failed our English test, and it's hard for me to keep up sometimes. I was told to try and get tutored by one of our other classmates. But when I asked 
for help. Nobody wanted to waste any time on me. Not understanding and... And I tried my hardest to, to just get by on what I know uh, on my own <laughs> with our last test. But as you saw, I didn't seem to do too well. Sayori, n n no, you, do you don't need to worry. I I'll try and figure it all out. I promise. Tears are starting to well up in her, up in her eyes. Grabbing her, I pull her in for a hug. Aww. Custom art. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you can ask me anytime for help. You know that? I mean, I mean, zero out of ten mod. He told me to roast it, okay? <laughs> let, let me help you, okay? Come over later tonight and I'll go through everything you don't understand. Okay, in reality, it's a good mod, okay? I can't, I can't lie, man. Through some muffled sniffling, she hugs me back. She's so warm. When was the last time I even held someone? This brings me back to when Sayori used to come over almost every day after school. Just two little kids ready to conquer the world. Well, sort of, actually. She was the ambitious one, w wanting to try each and everything new she could get her hands on. On the other hand, I had trouble keeping up with her then as well. Aww. Y <laughs> Small Yori. <laughs> she always seemed to come over with a new hobby each day. <laughs> I remember when she brought a little kazoo over and wanted to be a professional kazoo stremist. <laughs> Help. Trying to remind her that that didn't sound like a real thing. She told me I could be her band manager, so that made my <laughs> so that made the ear-piercing noises she made that day more bearable. I wonder why she stopped coming over as we got into high school. Oh, I guess I kind of just stopped inviting her over. Honestly, just stopped with everything. That year, when my mom had... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can let go now. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. As she let go, uh, we continued to... We continued the rest of our walk in silence. There we go. Help. <laughs> when we arrive at the restaurant, she seemed to be a little bit more at ease that I was worrying less over her. Do you um, want anything? Um, hmm. I think I'm actually all right for right now. Also, I hope I'm pronouncing the character's name correctly. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's my bad. I'm sorry. I butcher things. <laughs> you refusing food? Okay, where is Sayuri and what have you done with her? She looks over to me with an empty smile. She's just a little tired after today. Ignoring the pit in my stomach th after that reply she gave me, I try to just play it off for her sake. Now who's the one staying up late if you're tired? Hmm? She grins a bit, looking more relaxed about things again. Hey, you're not the only one who likes doing things at night, you know. Sayori, what you been doing? <gasps> what sort of things are you doing at night? <laughs> she playfully nudges me. Knock it off, you big doof. But recently, I kind of took up writing. Whoa, writing? That doesn't quite sound like something you'd be interested in. Not everything is boring just because they aren't flashing lights coming from a screen giving you amusement. Ah. <laughs> uh. You, sh you sure? With how much it occupies my time, I beg to differ. Well, you never will know it. you'll enjoy something if you don't try it. Ah, there's the girl I know with her endless desire to do anything and everything. There's even this girl I met in my new class that's been helping me learn to write some poetry here and there. I am sorry, okay? <laughs> it's not my fault. She's really good at it, so getting to learn from her is always fun. Oh, hey, Sayori, you made another friend besides silly old me. Good job. I'm so proud you found a replacement for me now. Oh, come on. You know no one could ever uh, be grumpy enough to replace you. <laughs> You're like my own personal Grinch. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> or I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> uh, she then tries to do her best impression of my voice. I, I hate people. Going outside is lame. These animated girls are my friends. <laughs> Maybe there's some other reasons you watch anime so much, Tristan. Animu? You mean um, hentai? <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm not in it for that sort of thing. Oh man, I feel my face going red. The, the, there's just some good stories that so happen to have it happen sometimes. Jeez. Uh huh. Whatever you say. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> Sounds like you're convincing yourself instead of me, though, silly. 
Dang, um, how should I reply to this? That side of anime is just what makes us, all us viewers look bad. I don't know, man. It's in a lot of anime. <laughs> I recall when my dad walked in one time on the worst possible scene. He just quietly shook his head, then prompted, promptly left my room without saying a word. He's like, freaking weeaboo, and he just walks out. <laughs> anyway, Sayori, so who's your new friend you made? Oh, she's this girl from some debate club or something. Uh, she asked me if I'd be interested in checking it out, and I went to school uh, went to it after school last week. I didn't like it too much with all the arguing, <laughs> so she just came to talk to me after. She even liked my bow, and she said, and she had this really cute ribbon. Yeah, it's it's Monica. Monica, is she evil in this mod? Tell me, is she evil? <laughs> it seems like you're enjoying her company already. Then, what's her name, Sayori? Her name is. Before she finishes, she got interrupted by the voice of an annoyed employee. Is it? It's Natsuki, isn't it? Sir, it's been 10 minutes. Would you please just order already? Oh, right. I completely forgot we were ordering, and judging by the angry line behind us, we should hurry. I I'll take one medium fries and a uh, Sprite. Who would, would you like an original or a cranberry, sir? I'll just take the original, thanks. Did you really? Did you really? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. And so, so proud of this community. <laughs> Quickly paying for my food, we start walking back home. As we're walking, I see, as we're walking, I see her sneaking glances at my bag of food. Hey, you want a fry, don't you? You want a fry? <laughs> okay, maybe just one. Of course you do. All right, Sayori, why don't you come over and say an hour? Sounds good. See you then. As she wistfully skips off to her to her house house over to house house, I let out a I let out a sigh. As she skips over to house house, okay, I'm sorry, but that's funny. <laughs> she throws me through a loop sometimes, but I guess that's just how she is, right? Amazing to me how downcast she looks in the looked in the classroom earlier, but now is back to skipping around cheerfully. Anyway, I got an hour to kill. All right, guys, I'm... Okay. I was actually gonna end the episode right there. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Also, if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button to become a ghost. Also, check out the mod demo. Uh, the second one might be linked. I, I, I'll link it when the, the demo comes out. But anyway, I will see you next time. Peace.